Hey all, welcome to my channel coaching. My name is Laszlo Leder. Today I'm going to show you that how we can build a React application. In this React application we will be able to mint an NFT and we will check it finally on OpenSea at the end. You know nowadays the NFTs and the crypto are very popular themes. I just would like to show you that how we can build a contract. We will use Remix ID and we will use the Ring B test Ethereum network and uh, we will use a moralist server and finally we will create our React application where we will be able to connect our MetaMask wallet and we will be able to mint NFTs basically at the end. And finally we will check it on the OpenSea's test uh, uh, page so we will be able to see our NFTs there in OpenSea. Okay, let's get started. So you know we will mint our NFTs on Ethereum blockchain on Ethereum test network basically. Here you can see my MetaMask wallet. It's very important to set it to the test network to Ring B. We will need some test eaters, so please visit the facets.chain.link and uh, connect your MetaMask wallet uh, with your test network setup, please. And here you can require uh, 0.1 Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet, into your test account. Here we go, I got the eaters and now we are going to use the mix ID. Here please create a new file. It will be the code of the contract. So I'm creating a new NFT mint coaching.sol. You can download a sample file from the repository under my video. Here is the code of our contract. Please give the same name here in the constructor and here in the class at the top. Use the same name. Uh, it will be an ERC721 type of contract. You can read about these contracts and their contents in the official APIs. But now please save the file. If everything is OK, then you should see some files here. After that, please go to the Deploy tab and here we have to choose the Injected Web 3 and connect your test account with your MetaMask. After that, you should see your Eaters here and uh, after that, you have to choose the contract that you have created before. It's very important to check before uh, deploy that you are on the test network and press the deploy button. After that you have to sign the transaction here in the MetaMask and after that the deploy of our contract is done. You have to wait some seconds and here you can see that my contract is deployed Please copy the contract address and paste it in a note. We will need it later. Also go back to the compile tab and uh, here we have to choose our uh, contract again and copy the ABI uh, code and Paste it here again, we will need it later. Okay, the ne next uh, step is to go to the moralis.io and here we have to set up a moralis server. So here we have to choose our test network again. You can give it a name and uh, choose a region and uh, select the testnet network. After that, if you created your uh, server, please copy the server URL and uh, 
the application ID. We will need both of them later. Okay, now we can create a React application. I have already created it before. So I will show you the code. So we will need Moralis, the React Moralis, the Web3 dependencies, and the exact same version, version of uh, React scripts, for example, 4.0.1, because unfortunately React Moralis is not compatible with version 5. And uh, we will need the React Router DOM, for example. You can download the source code from the Git repository. You can find the URL under my video. Here I import the Moralis provider and the use Moralis hook. We will need some dependencies from the React router DOM package and the use effect hook from React package. Here I created a new uh, component named root. I need the use history and I need the authenticate function and the is authenticated boolean from the use moralis hook uh, return values. In the use effect I check that if the user is authenticated then I uh, redirect uh, the user to the dashboard uh, path and If we are already authenticated, then we don't render anything here. If it's too fast, please pause the video and you can see the code or you can check it on GitLab. Here uh, in, in our index.js main code, we are using two environment variables for the moralist provider, the ID and the server URL of Moralis server. So set up them in .m file and we are using it here in the provider. Here we set up a re regular router switch and two paths, the root path and the dashboard path. The root path renders the root component and the dashboard path renders the app component. Please create a contract.js file and here we have to use the contract address that we uh, saved in our notes and we need the ABI contract ABI code too here. So copy it and paste it here in this file. Here I'm importing the Moralis, the use Moralis hook, the use state from React package, the contract ABI and contract address from our contract file, and Web3 from Web3 package, and also create a new instance of Web3. We can get the logout function from the use Moralis hook. So we will use it here in the logout function and uh, I will describe this uh, on submit function later. So now I'm skipping it. Here uh, I'm checking that we are authenticated or not and render the logout button or not. And we have a regular form with three inputs a name, a description, and uh, and the file input. We have separated state variables for them to handle the on change and everything you know, which uh, needed for the form. This is a test application and it's all about the minting, so it's not uh, perfect, but you know, this is not important here to be perfect. So here you can see the name, here the description, and here the file input. And uh, 
here is a button which will submit the form the text of it is mint nfts and uh, you know after the submit happens then the on submit function uh, will be called and here is the on submit function which will uh, do the mint basically so we create a new moralist file it will be uploaded to ipfs so if you don't know what is IF ipfs it's a distributed uh, file system you can read more about it on uh, this official website for example so you can find ipfs here and uh, also we we use the input values to create our metadata and uh, we are going to upload it to IPFS2 after that I'm creating a new instance of web3 eat contract with our contract data and uh, finally we can call the mint function and get back the token ID which is created if everything was successful also I'm making an alert with the created token ID and contract address ok now we can test our application we can press the login button here we can log in with our metamask uh, wallet if everything is ok everything is working as expected here we got our logout button and ha here I can type the name the description of the nft and i can upload an image so i can choose an image here and press the mint now button so here we have to sign the transaction please check that you are on the test network and you can press the confirmation button and a few seconds or minutes later you can get back the transaction uh, information the token ID and the contract address here you can see on its iter scan as well here you can check the contract and uh, and anything if your NFT was created successfully then you can connect your metamask wallet in uh, on uh, opensea.io and after that you can go to the testnet part of opensea and here under your profile you have to find the minted nft with its name and uh, description and image that we have set up in the metadata of the uh, contract you can extend your contract later so you can uh, pair the NFT with one of your collections for example or anything you can place many information in the metadata so check the official APIs and you can extend your contract okay thank you very much for watching i hope you like this tutorial it's very unique i think so if you liked it please subscribe to my youtube channel i hope you liked it guys and thank you very much again bye